Today we will be going over linear flight plans with DJI's Mavic 3E using the DJI Pilot 2 app. Begin by entering into the starting screen and then selecting the flight route section of Pilot 2. Once here, select the plus sign in the top right corner and you will get the choice between waypoint route and linear route. Today we will be going with waypoint route as we can change and edit our points with more freedom than with a linear route that Pilot 2 provides. After this, select set waypoints as, again, this will give us more freedom to determine how we will conduct our flight. Once on the next screen, you will have a map overlaid with a menu to the right. Click on the arrow to minimize the menu to the right as we won't need that for a bit. When you have the map to yourself, start placing your points. For now, we'll use this soccer field and draw a perimeter around it. After placing your points of interest, you can move them. Just be careful as you can create new points on accident, but they are easily gotten rid of by selecting these points and clicking on the trash can icon to the left. You can also press on the plus sign between two points to create a new point of interest if you wish in order to get more precise areas to cover along a route. Once you are finished with your line, you can click on the arrows icon on the right of the screen to bring back that menu. The first thing we need to do is make sure the correct aircraft is selected, in this case, the Mavic 3E. In the next menu, we'll select our takeoff altitude. This will be our return to home altitude as well, so keep that in mind when setting this. For this flight, I'll put it to 100 feet. It's also good form to keep the climb to start point unchecked as shown here, due to the fact that if there are any obstructions between your drone's takeoff point and the first point on the mission, your drone will fly right into it if the obstacle avoidance is set off. Our speed is set to the default 11 miles per hour, but if you want to do slow searches or fast ones in order to cover more ground quicker, then this can be adjusted. Currently our flight time is at 2 minutes and 16 seconds, with an estimated 2000 feet of distance to cover. Next is our relative altitude. This will be the altitude that we will fly at for the duration of the mission. Unless otherwise stated with the specific points of interest, we will set this to 100 feet as well. Our next setting is aircraft yaw. Keeping the yaw axis locked can be beneficial to large perimeter flights, as you'll keep the video of the drone locked in one direction and improve situational awareness for those watching the drone footage back or live. Gimbal control is best as manual for individual control when you need it during flights, but the downside is that you can spend too much time fiddling with this to get the camera back to the angle you want instead of actually viewing the video you want to view. Keep in mind that selecting manual does not stop you from inputting automated gimbal positions along the route as you'll see here in a bit. Here we have our different waypoint types that are all pretty self-explanatory. If you are doing a perimeter survey as I will be conducting here, then straight route will be the best as it will cover all the areas around the line and point without missing anything. This does, however, increase the time it takes to complete a mission, as it comes to a complete stop, so keep an eye out for that. Last is what the drone will do upon completion of the mission. Currently, you do not have the capability to have the drone do the search over again while in air. You would need to return the aircraft to land, or have it return to start point and hover, and then go back into the flight routes menu and select the same route again and send it on its way. It is tedious, but usually you won't be conducting multiple perimeter surveys within seconds or even minutes of each other. This last menu screen is for each waypoint. As you can see, it starts on the last waypoint you created, and has a similar setting to the last menu we were in for the entire flight mission. We want to edit the first waypoint, so let's start there. If you want to increase the speed of a certain point, you can do that here. If you have an obstacle on one track of the perimeter you are surveying, then you can increase the height of that distance here. If you have one point where you're okay with it zooming along through and not stopping, then you can change that here. At the bottom, we can add our actions. These are essentially all the options we couldn't add in the previous menu condensed into simple commands for each point. Each one is fairly straightforward, but the one we will start with is start recording. This will show you the recording that it will put onto the SD card of the drone, and we can rename this file here if we wish. If you want to remove an action you added, simply drag the action to the left, and you will get this red trash can icon to remove it. So now we have our drone going up, doing an entire box around our perimeter, and it is recording while doing so. However, as we can see, our gimbal pitch is set to 0 degrees, and there is no way to edit it from the rest of the route. So here is where we can do that. We can set the gimbal to look straight down at 90 degrees, and for the rest of the mission the camera will look straight down without having to edit any other points of interest. Now we have the camera settings correct, so we don't want the drone recording our landing sequence, as that won't do us much good. So we need to come in and add one more action to the last point of interest to stop the recording.
When we're done with our mission and are satisfied with it, we can then click on the floppy disk save icon in the top left corner of the map and it will save our mission for us. Once saved, we can then click on the white and blue play button to initiate and upload and then start the mission. On this final screen, it will give you all the information pertaining to the flight with it being the last chance to change it prior to hitting that upload flight mission button to go over this screen carefully. When the upload completes, you can simply click start at the bottom and the mission will start. As you can see, our drone turned its camera down at the first point and continued on. Keep in mind that you have some control while the mission continues from speeding it up as seen to slowing it down to a stop using the pitch Joy-Con on the controller to do so. You'll also notice that as it goes from point to point, the camera stays at that 90 degree angle. If I were to change it, it would then stay wherever I left it until I pushed it all the way back to that 90 degrees using the controller as no other point on my mission dictates that it must be at 90 degrees. Once the mission is complete, the drone auto initiates the return to home function and comes back to land. And that is how you create and fly linear flight plans using DJI's Mavic 3E 